Hello and welcome back. It's Total Eclipse here with a brand new video. Now this one's just a very quick one which I put together last night and then thought I really want to get this out to you guys. So that's what I've decided to do. This is what I spent maybe a couple of hours building yesterday. It's a massive observation tower. It's a circular one and it just looks freaking awesome. So I thought you guys would like it. Uh, we're going to do a, I want to say time lapse, but I prefer thinking of time lapses from the outside and you're watching it going up. But we're going to do a speed build. I'm going to fast forward it really quickly for you guys and hopefully you get a gist of how I'm doing it. But I will probably be doing a circular build guide in the future, especially now that I've got a really interesting um, build in mind, which I want to do for my underground factory, which I think you guys will find incredible. Anyway, guys, we're going to jump into this. If it's your first time here, do make sure you subscribe. On Thursday, I'm going to be posting a video for our subscriber giveaway because we've recently hit our 1000 subscriber goal. So do keep an eye out for that. Also, if you do find the build awesome, make sure you hit that like button so that it gets out there to other people and they can see what we're doing and we can build this channel for the community of Satisfactory. Anyway guys, with that all said and done, let's get into the build. So I didn't really want to talk too much during the actual video, but I think it's important to note a few things of what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm building a ring around myself, and then from there we're going to put some glass walls up, and then from there we're going to extend further outwards. That's just going to make it look neater, and I also like um, shapes that kind of uh, incline eventually and so you need to go outwards to incline because we can't decline <laughs> that's uh, the only way I can put it until we've got v uh, inverted ramps which they haven't thought of yet or haven't planned it as far as I know um, so once we've done that we're then going to put the, wa the walls up too high and then from there we're going to do a gradual incline with the um, the lesser sloped ramps and then we're also going to do a kind of ridge along a cross point so that it goes upwards and then we're going to do another mini circle which is going to surround our uh, radio tower just to give it a little bit of a different look I think if you put something a radio tower just on top of a building it looks like it's a radio tower on top of the building but what I really wanted to do here was kind of integrate it a bit more which I think is pretty cool and we also played about with giving it a, a slight roof which you'll, you'll see in a bit where we glassed we windowed around the outside of the radio tower and then we put the walkways around which we also did for the whole circle. Now I will admit straight up that actually putting the slopes on as it gradually got closer and closer together was frustrating because the clipping um, became an issue. Things started to get very difficult to place and so that did take a lot more time than I expected compared to the rest of the build. But eventually we finished it so I will let you enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you like it.
So that was the build and as you can see, I hope you agree with me, it is freaking awesome. Um, looks totally different. It's not something that I really, I'm, I'm not really into doing circular builds, but I really enjoyed this one. And so I'm definitely going to be doing it again. I'm going to be doing a ring around the waterfall. I think that might be quite a nice like headquarters for my underground factory. Um, so that's what we're, we're going to be doing. But here you can see me walking around. I do slip off the edge at one point, but I think it's just a really nice way of like observing everything around you. Uh, anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. If you do have any questions or there's anything you want me to build, do make sure you comment below. If you did like this video, please drop a thumbs up. And if you did drop a thumbs up, thank you very much. It's greatly uh, appreciated. And if you haven't, do make sure you subscribe if you're into satisfactory and like satisfactory videos and guides because we have plenty more coming. Anyway, guys, until next time, ciao for now.